Hi guys, it's Rachel. So today my sister and I went into the city to do a little bit of shopping, which turned into a lot of shopping. We went in there to get some Christmas gifts for each other and for our parents, and then we also just did some shopping for ourselves, because it's nice to treat yourself every now and then. And I haven't had a chance to actually go shopping properly in the city since probably this time last year, the last time I had some time off work. So I was really excited to check out some different stores and do a little bit of um, shopping in some different shops and things like that. I thought I would film a haul for you guys so you could see what we both bought. Kirsten didn't want to be in the video but I'll show you guys what she bought also. So let's jump into it because there is quite a bit of stuff. The first place that we went to was Sports Girl. I have two bags here and I don't know which one. This is my bag. So I purchased this scarf here. It's a khaki color with skulls all over it. So it's khaki and gray. And I thought this would be nice coming into autumn winter. It's also khaki which is in fashion and then skulls which seem to be a big I guess trend at the moment so I thought I would buy that and it is quite light so I could potentially wear it in summer as well as it's on days that are a little bit cooler. This was $24.95. The next product I got is actually a gift for Kirsten. Um, this is a little skull coin purse that comes on a little keyring. It's just a cute little, um, it looks a little bit like the Day of the Dead kind of skulls and this was $12.95. Another thing that I purchased for Kirsten and I to share is this necklace here which was on sale. This one's turquoise and silver and this was on sale for $9.95. I think it's really, really pretty. It's just like a little short necklace. And then I also purchased this cute little bracelet here. Again, this was also on sale for $4.95. And it's just crystals and it has this really that like neon yellow green color that I really, really love. So I thought that was very, very pretty. And then I have another bag here. This is Kirsten's bag. So Kirsten picked up a few things also. She purchased this little owl coin purse, which is actually for me because I love owls. So that was a Christmas present for me. Kirsten also purchased a similar necklace for us both to share. This is the same as that turquoise one, except this is gold and lilac. And this was also $9.95 on sale. Kirsten got this very pretty peach colored necklace also and this was $19.95. And last but not least, Kirsten also got a rose gold watch from Sports Girl but it's all wrapped up so I won't unwrap that because that is hers. So the next place we stopped in at was Starbucks and I got this really, really cute, and I'm going to unwrap it, uh, travel mug, a Christmas travel mug. I love these Starbucks travel mugs. I think they're really, really cute, especially the ones that come out with at Christmas time. And this one is gorgeous. It's just clear and it has snowflakes on it. It has glitter all throughout, which I think is really nice. And then it has a little snowman at the bottom that kind of just sits there. And I just thought it was really, really cute. And I just, I couldn't resist. I love Christmas stuff and this is just totally up my alley. So I got that and I think this was on sale for $14.95. We also stopped in at Portman's and I just picked up one thing there. Oh no, I lie, I picked up two things. The first thing that I picked up was this Portman's phone cover, Little Luxuries phone cover. It's white with just some raised flowers, which I thought was really, really cute. And it's just like a rubber one. It was $9.95. On, no, it was just $9.95. That wasn't even on sale. It was just floral. I thought it was nice. It probably will get dirty in my bag, but I do like white phone covers at certain times. I feel like they look really fresh, so I picked up that. My second purchase from Portman's is probably one of my favorite, and it is this really, really pretty sparkly rose pink or blush pink sweater. So it's a knit sweater. It's quite see-through, if you can tell there, and then it's just sparkly all the way. It's slightly longer at the back, and it has long sleeves, and I just think it's adorable. I think it will look really nice over some tights, maybe like a plain jacket in winter. I think it would work now even over some shorts on a slightly cooler day or if you wanted to wear it out. I think it's very Christmas party. It's kind of festive with all the sparkles. Maybe I'll wear it at New Year's. I don't know, but I just, I love the color and I love the look and it was really, really pretty. This was 60, you know, 69.95. So kind of expensive, but I really, really love it and I feel like I could get a fair bit of wear out of it because you can dress it both up and down. So I'm in love, love, love with that purchase and I can't wait to wear it. We stopped in at the Big Mire in the city because I absolutely love shopping there and I wanted to get some stuff for my mum for Christmas. But the first place that I went to was Kit Cosmetics and they have this really cute Christmas bag here. And I just picked up one thing from Kit and that was the Soap and Glory, this hand it's cream and soap set. So this, I believe, was $29.95 and it comes with a hand wash and a hand food. I thought it was a really, really cute set. It also comes with like a little silver metal, I guess, holder. And when I get my new bathroom at the new house, this is what's going to be in my bathroom. So it was kind of like a pre-gift for my bedroom when I move in 
hopefully next year. So I won't be using that. I'm going to hold out, but I really, really want it because I love the soap and glory stuff. I love the scent. I love hand food as the cream. So I thought that would be really cute for my bathroom. Also, while we're in Maya, I stopped at Shiseido, which is where I went to buy my mum her Christmas present. And hopefully she won't be watching this before Christmas. So I picked her up the White Lucent Brightening Moisturizing Cream. This is the night cream. So I got that for her. And then I also picked up the Shiseido White Lucent Anti-Dark Circle, Circle Eye Cream. So this is supposed to be good for people with hyperpigmentation and age spots and things like that to help, I guess, even out your skin tone, help brighten the skin. So I thought that would be nice for her as a nice little gift. These were kind of, they're quite on the expensive side because it is Shiseido. I think total they came to $145. So they are on the high end in price, but they're for my mum and... I don't know. I felt like she, she needed a little bit of pampering because mums tend to not spend a lot on themselves. So I try to spend stuff on my mum at Christmas time and things like that just so she can get some little things for her. And then they also gave us some samples for mum to try, which I'll include in her Christmas present. Also other products from that range. So that was really, really nice. The lady was very, very nice at Shiseido and was very helpful. We made a brief stop in at Chicka Booty in the TGV and Kirsten just got one thing. This is a... This, this is that yellow that I love. This is like that lime yellow green. It's kind of hard. Some people would call it more green. Some people would call it more yellow. But it's just a peplum style shirt that Kirsten got, I think, to mainly wear out. And this was $25.99. I love this color. But I don't know if I can really pull off the peplum style skirt shirts personally. I don't think I have one. I'll have to try it out and see maybe at some point. We also made a quick stop in at Topshop and I just purchased one little thing. I've been obsessed with bows and particularly bow belts and trying to find a bow belt is really really hard. So if anybody has any suggestions here in Australia of where or even online if it can ship to Australia of either a black go gold black bow belt or a gold bow belt or just something skinny and small I've, or a waisted belt. I really, really want one. But I did find this one in Topshop. This is just like a, it's kind of an open bow. It's this turquoise or aqua color. And this was on sale from $15 down to $8, I believe. And it's really, really cute. It actually kind of goes with the dress that I'm wearing. So I was very happy with that purchase and it was great that it was on sale. One of the earlier stops we made in the day was to General Pants, the big General Pants in Pitt Street Mall. And I did get Kirsten, I guess it's probably her main Christmas gift because they were on the expensive side. These are the high-waisted jeans shorts. These are by the brand Wrangler, which is why they're kind of expensive. I believe these were 100 yes, they're $119.90. So they're real denim, and because they're Wrangler, they are on the expensive side. But it was something that she really, really wanted. And they are ones, again, you can dress up and dress down because there were frayed ones. And we decided to stick away from the frayed ones and go for these because they're a little bit more, I guess, versatile. They don't look so grungy, so they should last her a little while longer. And then while I was there, I also purchased these Havianas or Havanas. I used to call them Havanas when I was younger, but they're actually Havianas thongs for mum. These are just the black slim ones mum has wanted for quite a while, so and she broke hers, so we got those. As with any shopping trip, I generally have to make a stop in at Priceline, and there's a really big Priceline in the city, so we quickly ducked in there. I didn't buy too much, but they did have 10% off for people who were part of the sister club, so if you have like the Priceline Club card member. So I did pick up some hairspray. This is the L'Oreal L Net hairspray which is probably my favorite. I also got a couple more presents for my mum so I purchased her the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Honey because that's one of my favorite colors and I think she'll like it. I also got her the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in the color Sugar Plum which is a really nice neutral plum color. I'm wearing it on my lips today because again it's one of my favorites. And then mum needed a new blush so I got her the Rimmel Match Perfection blush, which is this one here. It's one of the ones you can kind of swirl the colors together. And this is in the color 004 medium dark. And I also purchased some Australis lip glosses for a gift for a friend because they, which I won't show on, but they had 20% off Australis as well. So that was really, really great. And I love the Australis, what are these called? Color Inject Mineral Lip Glosses, the ones that look like this because they smell like peaches and taste like peaches. And I really, really like that. So that's all I picked up. I did quite well to not pick up that much more from Priceline. I was quite proud of myself. Okay, so the last couple of things to show you. We also made some purchases from Valley Girl. So the first thing they have here is this skull singlet top. It's just like a knit material and it's kind of baggy with just one skull. Again, like I said, that skull trend is really in and seems to be popular quite a bit. So I got that. I thought that would be nice for summer. And the skull top was $14.95. 
And then I also purchased these maroon or oxblood red, whatever you'd like to call them, coloured shorts. These were, I think they're only $9.95, so an absolute bargain. They're really, really comfy, stretch material, so I would probably pick up some more colours of these because they're really, really nice. And then to go with that little outfit, I also purchased this little set of bracelets. This was $6.95, and there's just a gold one and then a... Again, that maroon oxblood coloured studded one. So I thought they would look nice with that outfit and just in general because I generally like that colour. And then my sister also got that same skull top and then she also got that pack of bracelets. However, she got it in this royal blue colour. And then last but not least, we also stopped in at Payless Shoes. And this was actually last night, but I thought I would include it in this haul also. And I got this really, really gorgeous pair of shoes that I wanted to share with you guys. This is what they look like here, so I should probably take the cardboard out so you can see better. There's some really, really nice nude coloured heels with this reflective metallic pieces on the front. I thought they were just really, really cute. They'd be great for a New Year's Eve party or a Christmas party or something like that. And we're probably going to share them because they're a little bit on the big side for Kirsten and a little bit on the small side for me. So we're going to see how that goes, but I really, really liked those. And those were $60, I believe. They're a similar pair to one that I saw in Wanted Shoes, but they were, I think, double the price. They were over $150. So an absolute bargain to get these for $60. And the last couple of things I just found in the bag, I actually picked up two phone cases. One for my mum because she, like me, really likes purple, so I thought I'd get her a new purple phone case. And then I also got this one here which is black with pink or pinky purple polka dots on it. So once I'm finished with my little Santa man, I will either use this one or maybe my white one. I go through phone cases like crazy because I like changing them up as much as I like changing my handbags up or in my other accessories. And these were, I think, $20 each. So that is it. That is everything that we've purchased for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. If you guys have done any Christmas shopping or have made any purchases lately and have filmed a haul, definitely leave me a video response because I would love to see it. Or you can just let me know what you've purchased in the comments below because I'd love to hear what gifts you've been buying for people or just things that you've purchased for yourself as a Christmas present. I always think it's nice to treat yourself at Christmas time because sometimes the best presents that you get are probably going to be the presents from yourself. So that is it from me. I hope you guys are all doing well. Merry Christmas and a very happy holidays and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that I actually did vlog today as part of Vlogmas Day 21. So if you would like to check out the little shopping trip and see a little bit of Sydney and the shops around Pitt Street Mall and places like that, then feel free to head over to my second channel, which is Rachel Likes to Ramble, and you guys can see that video there and see what we got up to in the places we visited and things like that. And then I have been vlogging every day between the 1st of December and Christmas. So if you've been missing videos from me, you can check out some more videos on that channel because I am posting a video every single day. Look at all that mess that I created. <laughs> oh well, now I have to find somewhere to put it all.